Hello Chip Dippers, welcome to another new and improved Retro Recipes Quick Bites. Filmed here in the past and digitized in stunning 2K S video quality for you to enjoy in the future. And as always, filmed on this, my family's original uh, Sony CCD camcorder in stunning high 8 Yes, and I do hope you enjoy the uh, little bump in quality you might have noticed here for quick bites, quick to make in one retro take. And today I'm going to be trying something rather ambitious with our lovely Commodore 64 here. Now I don't do a lot of videos about the Commodore 64, so I thought it was time to give it some love. And I'm going to be using this, which is the X10, uh, what's it called, Home Control Interface, sometimes called the Powerhouse. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about the, the main control box and stuff in a second, but this basically let you turn your Commodore 64 uh, into a smart home controller. And it just so happens that my house is already quite the smart home. Uh, we have about 145 smart devices here, almost every light, every switch, but right down to things like controlling the water main in case of one of the smart leak detectors detects a leak. That actually worked really well when uh, we had Puppy Fractic, when she was first here and first introduced to you guys and a, as a puppy. She chewed through uh, a rubber hose in our bathroom. And if I hadn't heard the smart home um, beeping, the water leak sensor, and actually closing the mains water valve automatically at about 3 a.m., the entire hallway and probably most of the house would have been flooded. And I caught it when it or well, it caught it and I jumped out of bed when it was just trickling out into the hallway. So genuine life-saving stuff and I, that's why I've only gone on to increase my Back to the Future 2 smart home here. Um, but what I want to try to do is tap into all those devices and control them instead from the Commodore 64. So let me show you firstly the control box for the X10 and how all that works. Then we'll come back here and I'll tell you how we're going to try it to interface the old and the new. And here it is, the X10 powerhouse system. So this was released, I think, in 1986. And all these buttons allowed you to control various items around your house. Uh, you could control your sofa. No, just kidding. <laughs> all the lights and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but you could even make the toast. And you, if you twist this wire here, it will allow you to connect through the power system. That's why it's called the power house. It's, if you're familiar with power line ethernet adapters, it basically piggybacked on your mains cables. And, uh, but that meant you could plug in anything to a mains socket and this could interface with it. So you've got here, you know, a lamp module, for example. Um, there's, there's three different types of modules that it gives you. It could control appliances up to 15 amps. You just plug them in there. And then the main controller goes in the back of the Commodore 64, and this is where we're going to uh, try to interface things, okay? Now, it probably makes most sense to show you this on the real device, so let me just increase the brightness a bit there. And you, you get this, we're in install mode now, so you get this room set up uh, where you can choose any of these icons and basically place them in the room. So you, you move around uh, with the keyboard or the cursor, uh, and you've got things like toaster, like we said before. You can even have it make your coffee for you in the morning. I mean, how about that? Um, and then cust custom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun with that in a minute. I'll, I'll show you. Um, so basically, let's go back to the overview of the house. And again, you've got your lights depicted here. And we can choose a timer. So let's say uh, we wanna turn the lights on every day outside at, what, 10 p.m. So, there you go. And you can do the same thing for other rooms. We've got bedroom setups here, kitchen. <laughs> oh, that was our toaster. So I'm gonna go here and um, choose to turn this device on. And then we can choose again, uh, an off time. Choose a day, you can do it every day, specific days. But just zooming into the screen here, this is the bit that I, I just find fascinating. Modern smart home software doesn't really have this option and yet here it was in 1986 in that you could choose any position in the room for your device to go so say you have a, a standard lamp here um, next and say you have a, a couch you can put it there and then just navigate to it 
almost like touchscreen, you know, with the, with the joystick, as if you were using a smartphone. And there's something about this, the simplicity of this graphics. I mean, I remember, if I get my little game out here, um, just off screen, I'll show you it here, Time Traveler. This had the most basic graphics, it really did. I mean, <laughs> literally probably programmed in basic. But they were so, I don't know, it's hard to explain. There, there was a software house that said the greatest graphics are in your mind. And of course, you know, in a way, the less you see, the more you use your imagination. But that's, that's completely flipped on its head here, isn't it? Because in a smart home, you want to see exactly what you're controlling. But I just still just love this. I think it's just that the Commodore 64 style of, you know, drawing the, the lines onto the screen is just etched into the nostalgia of my soul. Anyway, let me show you how uh, we're going to do all this. <laughs> Stop wobbling. Okay, so we are here uh, at the Commodore 64 and this is the user guide for the X10 system. And I noticed it does give you the pinout for the uh, user port connection, basically. So then I thought, well, hang on, we don't have to use these at all. I don't want to rewire every you know, 150 items in my smart home and uh, plug them into this. What if instead, Instead of using all of that and, and the user port at the back, what if we used Wi-Fi? Now we've looked at a few Wi-Fi options recently and one of them was Chat64. And this allows you to do real-time chats with other people, kind of like text messaging or ICQ on the Commodore 64. And inside it, I'll show you in a second, is a flashable kernel. So then I thought, what if we write a quick bit of code for that and instead of uh, the software receiving, you know, uh, communication on pin two and four for, for in and out, which will basically tell it, you know, it'll send the binary data for which device is to be controlled that way. What if it just gets the commands and sends the commands through Wi-Fi to my Samsung SmartThings hub instead of to the X10 hub? Let me show you how that might work. E -o, e -o, e -o. So inside here, we've got a kernel. I think he's a kernel. He might be a uh, captain by now because it's been a while. It looks like we have to unscrew both of these, perhaps. And always, quick tip for you: always put your screws into one of these. So you don't lose the bloody things. Sorry, the blooming things. Edit that out later. <coughs> okay. Yes, there it is. So there is our flashable kernel. So all I'm going to do is take this out, put it into the flashing device, and I'll show you. I'll show you in detail later the code that I'm going to write or that I'm writing. Hopefully, it's going to work for this. Once it's flashed, this isn't going to act like a chat cart anymore. It's going to act like a smart home controller. And you know, this PCB reminds me of, and in fact was actually made by PCB Way. Yep, you can get great quality PCBs just exactly like this one from PCB Way, uh, starting at just five bucks, because as we all know, PCB stands for uh, Pinout Chart Briefing, doesn't it? Thanks, PCB way. Okay, so this is my SmartThings hub, and you can see that's the main hub, the control box, um, and this is a separate device, which I'm gonna show you in a second, the water valve, for uh, turning on and off the main water supply. Let's focus in on that for you there. Now, here's where it gets fun. If we go into advanced users, this will be intentionally blurry for privacy reasons. Now we get a uh, sort of behind the scenes, the back end, as it were, of everything. So I can go into devices here, and now we've got direct access to the device ID for every single device. Look at that, every device. So all I need to do is copy and paste the code for each device here, and paste that into the code that I'm using to rewrite the kernel on the chat 64 uh, and basically have it substitute the code for one of the old x10 modules for this new code and that way the commodore 64 software will think it's talking 
to its old module, but it's actually talking to these devices directly. Oh. That's the basics of how it works. I'll show you the code and stuff in, in a few minutes when we've set it up. But firstly, I'm just excited to test it out. So let's go do that. Okay, I think we're all set up now. This is really exciting. Uh, I've got Puppy Factory here. She's gonna be looking after things while I step outside. Because what we're actually gonna do, I think, is load up the X10 software on here. I've got the Wi-Fi cartridge in the back and I've configured the kernel. I'm gonna show you all that code. Uh, as I said, in a few minutes. But then behind me, we've got a tap. If I open the door here in the sink, and you're going to actually watch that tap turn off through the magic of the little 20 second timer I'm going to set on X10. So, what I'll do is I'll step outside and um, probably film the, ac <laughs> excuse you, film the water main shutoff valve actually turning off. That's right, it goes like that. Uh, and yeah, that's how, that's how it's gonna work. So that way you can actually witness in real life, not just a light turning off, which of course anyone could just be flicking uh, in case you thought that I might be faking this video. Um, but you'll actually be able to watch the water mains and the water turn itself off, all from a uh, press of the F1 key on there. One key, <laughs> did I say one key? Um, now, of course the way and the reason all this works is because the Wi-Fi cartridge and smart things on the same local Wi-Fi network. And that means, rude. That means that SmartThings can access any devices on the network and vice versa, <laughs> yes, <laughs> the look she's giving me. And vice versa, the cartridge can access any things on the network such as the SmartThings hub. And for those of you interested in, in the more technical behind the scenes, I'm implementing a web hook. And I'm, so I'm posting a specific URL with a device code to the web hook, but I won't go into all of that right now. We'll do that later. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic plan of action. And I want you guys to be dog sitters while I'm outside uh, and just keep an eye on her when we run the test. And just to show you how, what we're actually controlling in here, deep amongst the Black Widow spiders and various things is the water valve itself. So uh, let me turn it off using the original method, the SmartThings app, and show you how that works. Good girl, did you wait there for us that whole time? You sound good. Okay, so now you guys have seen how it all works. Let me turn on the tap here otherwise known as a faucet in America for some reason. Maybe because sometimes they get stuck and you have to force it. Anyway, can you see the water flow? Okay, <laughs> our towel is getting wet. This, by the way, is the makeup room and the makeup and wardrobe room for uh, shooting videos in the channel. Or even on the channel. If I was in the channel, I really would be getting wet, wouldn't I? Joke for our... Uh, British viewers there. Are you being so good? Oh, okay. But you're gonna, the babysitters are gonna keep you here. Okay, sit. Yes, sit, lay down. Good. All right, now I'm gonna set the timer to turn this off. I'm gonna leave and go watch it turn off and make sure it worked and leave you with the dog. And I'm gonna leave my mic here so you can hear the water as well. Actually, the added drama, I just thought of it. I'll put the plug in. How do I do it? Like that. That way, if the Commodore fails us, the whole house will flood. That's how, that's how much I trust it. Okay, and I trust you, and I trust you. Okay, everyone, wait. I'll be right back. That's awesome, and you look so good as well. Thanks for looking after her. So, did you see, it should have flashed on the Commodore 64 when it was closing and then when it was finally closed. Hi, you're so good. <laughs> so look, there's a still a little dribble coming through, probably the valve doesn't fully close. That's so awesome. All right, come on, look at the light. I was trying to make an entertaining video. 
and we're all very entertained. Entertain. <laughs> Can you just drive home? Oh, oh yes. Go faster. Yes. Yes, Go yes. faster. Well, there are laws. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have <laughs> guys. Look, um, we are. Who put us in? I'm just talking. Um, Okay, well, they can't help. No, I'm just stop. She's bothering me as well. Who plugs the sink? Guys, I, I, something terrible that might have happened. Uh, we are racing home. Do you we, know how expensive that equipment is? Let me just explain. Of course I know how expensive it is. I insured it. <laughs> oh, look, this is where they film Night Rider. No one cares about Night Rider. You plug the sink okay, and left it running. Oh, this isn't it. Sorry, I've got it. I've got a problem. Um, let me explain what's happened, I think. I think. You're an idiot. Can you be nice? We're on camera. You're a handsome idiot. Can you just run this red light? Why do we have to... Well, because there's a car in front of me. Babe, but the house could be flooding. And whose fault is that? Yeah, but blame... Assigning blame isn't going to stop it flooding. No, but it makes me feel better. <sighs> okay, look, here's what happened. We... we look, that's where, they, that's where they film Night Rider. Stop talking about Knight Rider. No one cares. I think lots of people care, actually. I care about the studio. Yes, me too, but just a bit. We can't go any faster than we're already doing 60. Here's what I think happened. When I left Stupidly. the... Stupidly. When I accidentally left the tap on... With? The plug-in. The plug closed, yes. With the plug closed, then... When we went out to lunch, I opened the, the mains valves. And forgot what? I opened the mains valves so that the water would turn on because because you yes. told me you couldn't get any running water in yes. the kitchen. Because so. I didn't know you were going to plug the sink and leave the tap on. Who does that? You could have reminded me. You, you were right there. You could have told me what you were doing. What's wrong with you? I had no idea what you were doing. <laughs> talking to the dog. I know, but I could have been helpful, but you didn't tell me what you were doing. So you're looking after the baby. Okay. Look, the baby's... Can we just calm it down? The baby's crying. We need to get home. Um, That's our inheritance. Down the sink. Literally. Well, it would have gone over the sink and onto the floor. It should be going down the drain. <laughs> um, I'm, I, I, part of me thinks I might have turned the tap off. But a bigger part of me thinks I didn't. You're usually very good with remembering things. So if you remember not turning it off, guarantee that there's water on the floor. I don't specifically remember turning it off. Okay, no. I don't remember not turning it off. That does not mean that it is off. It's quite possible that the studio is flooding right now and we are now stuck in slower moving traffic. Can you just... No. Is there another, another way we could go? I am blocked in. Okay, just go. Just get us home. It's all right, darling. It's all right. You're okay. I cannot believe you did that. Can you just... Who does that? Can you just be nice? Who does that? People are going to see what you're like in real life here. Oh, they know. They've seen all of my expressions when you're talking. They know who I really am. This is the police station where they filmed another Night Rider. No one yeah. cares about Night Rider. Oh, no, no, no. No, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. 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 Everything. Oh. Everything. Oh. 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 Turn the tap off. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Mind you, this is going to make some great repair videos. Peace.